Hello everyone! Okay, forgive the lighting, it's late at night <laughs> when I'm filming this. The Simon Says Stamp in Bloom release just went live. I just finished a Facebook Live where I was chatting with, or not Facebook, Instagram Live, where I was chatting with people while I was die cutting because I've had a lot of requests and I, I hear you. Um, had a lot of requests for showing more of the actual die cuts rather than just be like, look at this wafer die. So I die cut pretty much everything. So let's just dive into this release. I have most of it to share, not quite all of it. Um, depending on my editing, I might be able to insert pictures of some of the products. I will have links to everything. Um, those will be in the description box below as well as on my blog. There'll be a link to the release, the products, everything. Okay, I think disclaimers. All said and done. So there are, of course, a bunch of fabulous wafer dies. There are some fabulous stamp sets, etc. So this one, since it's sitting front and center, this is the I Adore You. And this is a card size, like four and a quarter by five and a half. So we've got the I Adore You word die. Really like that. And of course, I've just kind of got it. There we go. So yeah, really cute. Um, font which I really really like so we have that one and then because you know Easter spring all that we've got the bunny kisses and Easter wishes wafer die which is also just really cute and I like that these are separate so you can kind of use things um, either ors like kisses would be nice because you could have just the, like a stamp the word hugs you know hugs and kisses that would be really cute. You can use just the word Easter wishes. There are dots to these. I'm just not gonna like pick them up and stick them, but there are dots for the eye. Or tittles, that's what they're called. Still can't not think of Laura Basson with that. That is where I learned that little fun fact. But anyway, really, really cute. Love that one as well. So we have the bunny kisses and Easter wishes. And then there is the spring blessings. Wait for die. And again, there is dots to those as well. They're just kind of off to the side, so I don't lose them, but yeah. Just, ugh, I like, I can never get enough of word dies at all. So we have those, and then, okay, I have some of the CZ design. There are so much, okay. So <laughs> we have the uh, dog and cat dress up stamp set. There is a coordinating die set as well, a little die cut, all the images and everything else, which <laughs> so you can add bunny ears, love the sunglasses, of course the aviators are just fabulous, whole <laughs> tutu, like so cute, love it, love the characters, love the stamps, happy Easter, happy birthday, you are awesome, <laughs> meowie wowie, <laughs> uh, you've got style, life is rough, so cute, so cute, so there's that one, and then we have this gorgeous blossoming stamp set. There is a coordinating die set for this as well. So you've got this large tree. Again, like this will take like a center stage on an A2 card front. So you'd stamp that and color it. I want to heat emboss and sponge ink, just blend ink. Um, and then some really great sentiments. You've got with sympathy, take heart, remembering you my prayers, nothing in nature blooms all year round. Be patient with yourself. Like. So nice. And there's little, like, there's a little bird stamps as well that you can stamp. And then a really cute little um, swing stamp that you could add to this as well. Like, such a nice set. So that one. And then we have this um, Tiny Words Faith. Because we have the Tiny Words stamp set that is one of my favorites. There was Tiny Words Christmas, another favorite. And now we have Tiny Words Faith. So tons and tons and tons of sentiments. They're just so great to add, just little little sentiment um, strips and whatnot. So there's just, there's a whole bunch in here. Um, your little one is a beautiful gift from God. You were never alone. Uh, rejoice in the Lord. Uh, may God bless your day. We are touched by redeeming love. Comfort for today, hope for tomorrow, celebrating your baptism. Um, a sweet friendship refreshes the soul. Thank you, Easter. You were made to shine. So yeah, just tons of sentiments. So we've got that one, and then I have some of the CZ design. I don't have the stamp set, 
Um, there's the You've Got This coordinating die set for the stamp set. So hopefully I can insert a picture of that here. I love the CZ Design sentiment sets. Like, love. Love, love, love. They always come in handy. I reach for them all the time. So we've got that one. And then we have this really cute Buttercup set. So yeah, what up Buttercup? <laughs> Happy birthday. Hello sunshine. Love your guts. Life is magic because you. I miss you. Feel better. Like, isn't that not cute? And then I love, there's the Buttercup images. And then there's a whole bunch of little, like, little happy face images that you can stamp. And not the cutest thing ever. And the little leaves. And there is a, there's a coordinating die set for the stamp set. And then there's also another... There's a build a buttercup die set, which is in the pile somewhere, and I must have misplaced it. Like, yeah. Anyway, there is a the uh, build the build a bloom. There it is, buttercup. There it is. Oh, see how disorganized I am. Buttercup build a bloom. So kind of a neat. I need to see this in action. I'm curious. I die cut it, but I was like, hmm. So yeah, it die cuts and it just barely holds it in place. So you could either leave it in the cardstock or not. It's just, it's a, it's a cute idea. And there's the two sizes and then two centers for those flowers as well. And then, yeah, that one, the you've got this one. And then to go with that, you got this like die set and stamp set. There's another tag die. So the you got this tag, which I didn't die cut, but it's pretty self-explanatory. And here's, again, an A2 card to kind of give you an idea. I just like that you can pop out the letters and you can have, you know, the negative space of the tag and then you can save letters to use on another project. I like that a lot. So we have that one. And then there's also this fun, I love the font for these ones. Um, this is the Woot Word and Shadow. <laughs> so yeah, you can die cut the base and then you have the um shadow or outline of that as well and these are some of my favorites the ones like done like this love it love it love okay so we have that there are three stencils for this release so we've got this one which is the triangle blast stencil just fun geometric love absolutely love and then there's two more stencils in this release we have a fun like bubble one and then there's a fun like kind of um, border pattern one so again I'll have hopefully the pictures inserts so you guys can see those so it's really really fun I like the circle one too I'm gonna have to get my hands on that one because I think that would be nice to do like bokeh effects or confetti or bubbles like circles are just you can use them for everything love it so we have that we also have this really great, this is the pretty peonies background and Simon's backgrounds are on red rubber on cling with the image printed on it. This is absolutely gorgeous. And of course, like, do I even need to say it? I think anyone who knows me knows. I want to heat emboss it and do some watercoloring and like ink blending and all that fun stuff. It's just, this would look really gorgeous too. Just like white heat embossing it on color cardstock. Oh. So there's this one and then there's another background as well. And I need to get my hands on that one too, cause it's fabulous. Love, 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 love. And then we've got this great big, this is six by eight stamp set. This is the geometric pattern builder. Really, really fun, really fun. And again, these would look nice like metallic heat embossed, either build full backgrounds or just do a strip and then, you know, adhere it onto a card, etc. And like, uh, you could have so much fun coloring these in, like so many options. I love ones like this just to build patterns. So fun. And then I have this one. This is the Bunny Wishes stamp set, another big six by eight set. And there is a coordinating die set that will die cut all these bunnies and then the little bird images from this set. I just, I think it is so cute. I love how it's not just the Easter, like there's, you know, just little hugging bunnies, a bunny with little balloons that are kind of egg shaped. So yeah, congrats. Heard you have somebody new on the way. Oh, that is cute. Have an excellent spring, Easter, you know? So yeah, welcome baby. We could do birthday, Easter, spring, etc. Like, it's just so cute. So that one, and there's two cute little wafer dies. We have the Peking Bunny and Peking Chick. And they're just 
cute. So you die cut it and then you can just, you know, back it with some colored cardstock or like some ink sponging or anything like that. Like, isn't that adorable? So adorable. So you have both of those. You have the little peeking bunny. There's the little peeking chick. Super duper cute. And then I've got this fun uh, wavy egg wafer die. So just like so. And then it die cuts the egg shape. So you could die cut this from like color cardstock and then like, or, you know, and paper piece them into this or back it with color cardstock, do some ink blending, etc. Like you could have some fun with this or you could make this into a shaker. Oh, some ideas are really starting to roll. So that's what, this one's really fun. So that's the wavy egg wafer die. And then these ones are going to be very popular. I have a very good feeling. Um, there's three of them. We have the filigree bunny. There is the filigree egg, which is, oh, uh, words do not um, suffice. These ones are gorgeous. And the filigree heart. So you have all three of these and they're all just gorgeous. The details, so with the filigree heart, isn't that gorgeous? All of them, there's like all that stitching detail and swirl detail as well, which I think is just beautiful. So we have the heart, the egg, which is also just fabulous. So much detail to these. They're just, they're just gorgeous. Like you could just die cut this, back it with some color cardstock, add a sentiment, maybe a little bit of embellishment. Like, really, they're just beautiful. And then the bunny, I just don't really like the bunny too. I think that's so fabulous. So fabulous. So we have those ones, just like so. And then we have this really, really pretty um, tulip collage. I just, oh, I like, isn't that pretty? And this is another one where you could keep it so simple if you wanted, or you can, you know, have some little characters in there, add some little flowers, you can add color if you wanted, turn it into a shaker. Like, oh, so pretty. That's the tulip collage. Oh, speaking of tulips, there's also a really, really pretty tulip stamp set. So a stamp set and coordinating die set as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. Again, need to get my hands on that one. So there was that. And then we have the Dahlia stem wafer die. And it's just, it's so delicate and pretty. Isn't that pretty? So you can see the size of that on an A2 card front. So pretty. So the Dahlia stem, and then we have this fabulous triangle element, which I love anything geometric. Like, how fun is this? I just wanted to do like fun, smushy, kind of ink blending or watercolor background. And then, you know, you can add this, add a sentiment, really make some masculine cards with this. You could paper piece the center pieces with, you know, different colors, like love, love. Absolutely love this one. So we got that one. Ooh, there it is. And then last but not least of what I have here is the outline floral cross. And I like that you've got, you have the outline, but you can also use, you know, you could inlay a different color of cardstock. Just like so. Isn't that pretty? Love the detail of that too. So we have that. And then we of course have, we have some fabulous, um, this is the Your Tweet Pack from Susie Plantamira. So these are her designs printed onto Distress watercolor paper onto the smooth side. So you get like a whole pack of just adorable images that are just fun to color. Somebody loves you, that's so cute. All things are with love, Your Tweet. <laughs> these are, oh my gosh, that bunny is so adorable. He's so cute. So got that. Just fun. Really, 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 really fun. I really like that one too. So we have those. And then last, last but not least, um, we have these, these sentiment strips. You get four packs. And I know a lot of people have asked about these. Like people have been asking for this. So I personally prefer stamps, but having like, when I opened these, I was like, these actually might really come in handy, especially since they're already, like they're printed onto Nina, I think this would be Nina 110 cardstock, and they're already, you know, perfectly spaced. So all you have to do is trim them out with your paper trimmer, just trim them, cut them, and you have 
tons. There are four sheets and there are tons of sentiments on here. I love you to the moon again and back again. You make me happy in a way no one else can. Love you to pieces. Sending love hugs and lots of thanks. So very grateful for you. She believed she could, so she did reach for the stars. Um, brave, brilliant, and resilient. That's you. Hashtag believe. Um, wishing you another year full of laughter and joy. Like, there's just, there's tons. There's tons. Tons in here. So, I think that's kind of cool. It's got that one. And then we've got two fabulous, fabulous sequin slash confetti mixes. They're just... Yeah, my inner magpie was like, yes, zeroed in on these when <laughs> the package got here. So yeah, really, really pretty. So that's the release in a nutshell. Like I said, I will have links below the video to my blog post. I'll have links to everything. I'm going to link to the release, etc. Uh, there will be blog hops as well. I will be in one of them. There's like two days of blog hops, tons of inspiration, all that fun stuff. So stay tuned for that. Um, and I will have videos coming as I get things made with all this new stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting and all of it. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye.